quick video on replacing the ceiling pistons, uh, the O-ring assembly, and your knob assembly that you get from Testo. Comes in a little kit, and I lost the part number for you, but I made a couple videos on this. You can look them up. Uh, sorry about that. So down in the right here, right in the cylinder, if you look really close, there's a groove, and that's what the O-ring fits in. I get a little silicone grease, and I put a little dab of silicone grease inside the groove, and you're just doing it in the groove up here, out of the refrigerant area. The refrigerant travels down here and down here. You're putting the silicone grease from in the groove and above. Get your O-ring, slip your O-ring back on. Now that I have silicone grease everywhere, it doesn't want to... Oh, let me not do this so close to the camera. I need to go down. There we go. Couldn't do it up in the air. And into the groove. Now that we have the silicone grease into the groove, get back to your bore. Place it in there. Grab your assembly, slip it over, press it down slowly, there it goes, it goes down. Now this part has to thread down to get down into, you see the threads on there, but you have the threads there, you have to get closer, so you have to thread it down. And this is where, actually if I would have taken it out first, And threaded it down instead of not thinking because I'm making a video instead of uh, paying attention to what I'm doing so you get to see what you need to do first thread it down now slip it in now you could thread this part the threads right here can go down into the barrel right here that are threaded right there otherwise if you're threaded too high up on here the threads here will never make it down in there Slip it down in. Now that I'm all slimy with silicone grease everywhere. And now you see I've just touched the mating surface. You do not have to over tighten this. You're just snugging it so it stays in place and doesn't come off. That's all. I've touched. That's it. Just put a wrench on there. Just a, just a little bit. That's all I did. There was no force involved at all. You don't want to over tighten and these are only brass threads on an aluminum housing. You don't want to damage it. Put your knob back on. It goes nice and easy. And then put your screw back in to the center. Right there in the center. Screw it down. You don't have to watch me do a screwdriver. And that's it. That's how simple it is. And... Um, you will have a new set of uh, O-rings for sealing. And if you did have a problem with performing a high pressure nitrogen decay test or a vacuum decay test, what you're not supposed to do a deep vacuum long-term decay test through refrigerant hoses and a manifold in the first place, but if you did want to try and you think you had some problems with leak from your manifold because you isolated your hoses, you put your micron gauge on them, and you found out when you were hooked up for some reason, it doesn't matter if it was a Testo, a field piece, a yellow jacket, a Brute, or whatever brand it was, if you feel that you have any leakage through the O-rings and the seals inside here, a little dielectric grease or nylog will take care of that problem. And you'll have that equation out of your possible leaks and put it back together. Real simple. All right. See you guys.